I started as a fan of racing. I've been going to the races since I was in diapers, and I couldn't imagine doing anything other than driving cars as much as possible. So when I started at 16, autocrossing, all I wanted to do was drive, drive, drive. Um, so regardless of if it's in a race or just driving on the street, driving on a track for a lapping day, I love driving, um, which is ultimately my favorite part. But the high-speed chess match of racing wheel-to-wheel -wheel with other cars, figuring out their weaknesses, my strengths, um, and coming out with a win, is like a cherry on top that I, I call it the shakes. If you get the shakes, you know it was a good race. So this year I'm driving the 2017 Civic Si. It's all new for 2017, uh, powered by a 1.5 liter turbo engine. And this car was actually built from Honda's Body and White program, uh, which allows you to buy a car before it goes onto the production line in a body and white. And all of the parts that are on the car you can buy from Honda Performance Development to build your own race car rather than going to a dealership, buying a street car, stripping it down, and then starting to build a race car into it. So it gives builders a lot of flexibility to build the car the way they want. Um, and this is the first example of that program. I love the fan interaction. Um, I think this is the most welcoming series for fans. People can walk up, they can touch the car. We have them sit in the car if they want. Um, people get really excited about being able to be up close and personal to that. Um, I also love kind of the, the family feel to it. You know, the, the paddock is, is a, an open and um, welcoming place to be with other teams. You know, I have friends in, in uh, half of the tents around the paddock here. So um, it feels a lot more like being in the autocross paddock or being in the club racing paddock than I imagined it would be um, even starting two years ago with World Challenge. This year is actually a bit of an adjustment for me, running with a team like Shea Racing. Um, last year we towed the car to the races, we worked on the car ourselves, and I had some volunteer crew that, that made everything happen. So the hardest part is not actually having to worry so much about the car prep and, and the, the prep items. It's really nice to be able to rely on the team and have them support me in that role, so I can really focus more on driving, reviewing video data. So running in TCA this year will be quite an adjustment. All of, all of in TCB, uh, the cars are pretty equal. There's very uh, small nuances between which car is stronger um, in the straight versus the corner. Uh, TCA, you know, versus MX-5s, uh, Toyota FRSs, the other Civics. Um, there's a much wider range of, of difference in the cars on track, so learning to race with other cars uh, in that way will be an adjustment. Um, also just having more power, learning to manage the tires in a different way that we might not have had to in TCB. Um, those things will become more clear as I get more seat time, but uh, we started off strong, it's been going well so far. So here at VIR, it's April, late April, uh, exactly 10 years ago I did my very first autocross weekend. Um, and exactly four years ago, crazy, I did my very first wheel-to-wheel -wheel race. So, um, you know, 10 years ago, I never could have imagined being involved with a, a manufacturer effort on a, on a program like the new SI, involved with a big team like Shea Racing. Um, and every step that I've made in the past couple of years has been further than I ever thought I would make it. So um, I'm just so grateful that everybody uh, has been so supportive and so excited to see the progress that I've made. And it makes it so much more uh, exciting for me to have other people feel so passionately about uh, the progress that I've made in, in my own career. So I'm really excited to have some partners this year that I'm really passionate about. Um, Black Armor Helmets is back for this year, um, really supporting my efforts this year, as well as Gridlife. Um, they do kind of Forza Horizon in real life, if you want to call it that. It's these really cool motorsports lifestyle events, both supporting me. Uh, we also have technical partners with Eibach and Carbotech Brakes. Um, they've been awesome in the development of the car, getting us up to speed. Um, and then, of course, uh, the support from Shea Racing and Honda Performance Development and Honda. Um, we wouldn't be here without them, so we've got to thank them as well.